What were all the avatars we know so far? In what year did they live and how is the timeline in this universe? Join me to discover avatars that you may not know and what were their most important events in this video. This is Appa Comics. Before we begin we must take into account how time works in this universe which generally becomes a bit confusing. As at no time a specific year is mentioned, just as for a huge part of humanity the birth of Christ is taken as the year zero, in Avatar the genocide of the air nomads is taken as the starting point in time. This being the moment when the Sozin Comet passed by. All the previous events we mention is before the BG genocide and the later ones as after the genocide or AG. Now knowing this, let's begin. Avatar Wan was born in the year 9850 BG. He was the only one born without powers as a non-bender, but trying to help people nearby to have some food, he took the power of fire from a lion turtle. When he did not return it, he was expelled from the community and had to live in the forest where dangerous spirits were found. On his journey he tried to help a spirit named Vatu who in theory was being tormented by his counterpart, Rava. This caused the fight to become unbalanced, with the light losing strength and the darkness growing more and more. One decided to travel around the world looking for other lion turtles that possessed different abilities, and with the help of Rava to store them, thus dominating for the first time the four elements that, by the way, the order in which he learned these abilities determined the cycle of the avatar being fire, air, water, earth, and fire. Finally one managed to merge with this spirit becoming the first human being to bend simultaneously all the elements, that is, being the first avatar. One helped in the fight that is generated every 10,000 years between light and darkness, defeating Batu and locking him up for 10,000 years more, besides changing the world as never seen before, closing the spiritual portals, separating the physical from the spiritual and being the bridge between these two worlds. Avatar Gun Practically we know nothing of this avatar although it is said that this would be his image but in case of doubt we will leave it in suspense. One thing we do know is that he was unable to stop a tsunami in the city of Han, a port city. During that tsunami Gun lost a very close companion which caused him immense pain, this we know because Yangchen had a vision of his past lives, living in the flesh this event and being able to share his pain. After this tragedy, Gun retired for a while and later returned to his duties as Avatar. Avatar Salai. We know practically nothing about this man, but it is mentioned that he was an excellent Avatar, more than his appearances in different flashbacks. It is mentioned that many later Avatars looked back to the past wishing to be like him because of his achievements. Avatar Sito. Avatar Sito left a legacy of greatness, he lived before Yangchen and although many avatars were known for their achievements in battle, Sito was victorious in the bureaucracy. He was born into a broken and divided fire nation, so his way of contributing was to assume an important political position as a minister in the royal court and grow to become an advisor to the fire lord. He was an accountant and diplomat, and out of his enormous power as a master, why yes, we saw it in do lava bending, which by the way, first known user so far, connected the spiritual and legal leadership within the Fire Nation, managing to make it become perhaps the best organized and powerful territory of the time. The first appearance of Tsida was in 2006, but only 14 years later we would know his real name in the novel, The Shadow of Kyoshi. Yanchen was born in 495 BG and died in 345 BG, living a total of 150 years. The Air Nomad Nun had a very powerful spiritual connection, which was somehow harming her, having a constant internal struggle, for this very reason she had the vision of Avatar Gun's past life. During her life she fought against corruption in the Earth Kingdom, negotiated deals between humans and spirits including those of General Old Iron although because of her uncontrolled connection, she caused the death of her close friend Jetson in a visit to the spirit world from which only she returned. Unlike our Avatar Aang, the measures she took could be extreme as she commented in the Lion Turtles episode, putting aside her beliefs as a nomad and putting her duty as an Avatar first. 
She achieved peace between humans and spirits many times, but when she passed away she left many consequences for her successor. Korak was born in 345 BG and died in 312 BG. This avatar had a difficult life and a rather tragic history. In his time, things were peaceful thanks to the efforts of Yangchen, and as he mentioned, the people themselves could solve their own problems, but his life came crashing down when he lost his wife to Ko the Face Stealer. From then on Korak's life would plummet, devoting himself to fighting dark entities. Trying not to lose another companion he did this work alone. His friends, family, and the rest of the world had no idea what he was doing. In the real world people thought he was a guy who wasn't making anything of his life. At the height of his fight against the dark spirits, he encountered an entity called Father Glowworm which he was able to repel effectively, but leaving huge after-effects, leaving him spiritually damaged. Korak passed away at the age of 33 and is the shortest-lived avatar on record. Kyoshi, born in 312 before the genocide and died in 82 before the genocide. In her early years she lived in the Earth Kingdom and was abandoned by her parents and spent her days on the streets living as an orphan, but found refuge working in the service of Yun, who had been designated as the new avatar. When it was discovered that this was a sham and that Kyoshi could control the four elements, she fled by joining criminal gangs. Father Glowworm returned many years after Yun's apparent death. Half-man half-spirit Yun was convinced that he had to take revenge on the world that convinced him he was the Avatar, so Kyoshi finally had to confront him to eliminate this dark spirit as well. In his long life he created the Dai Li put an end to the invasion of Qin the Conqueror and created the island of Kyoshi. He lived to be 230 years old, the longest living Avatar known to date. Avatar Roku was born in 82 before the genocide and died in 12 BG. He grew up with his best friend, Sozin, who at the time was a prince, but when it was determined that Roku possessed the spirit of Rava, they were separated for many years, traveling the world to learn the four elements. He grew up in times of peace and balanced equilibrium thanks to the acts that his predecessor Kyoshi did in his long life, but during the time he was not present, Sozin grew the idea that they should share the prosperity of the Fire Nation with the rest of the world. Eventually Roku ignored what was going on and the Fire Lord continued with his plans, having a small confrontation after his marriage to Tom In. In his old age when a volcano erupted he died trying to stop it, betrayed by his once best friend. Aang was born in the year 12 before the genocide and died in 153 after the genocide. He grew up with the air nomads learning that he was the avatar at the young age of 12, but upon learning that he would be separated from his mentor and father figure monk Chiazzo, he froze for 100 years, during which time the Fire Nation exterminated the rest of the air nomads and took power by force becoming a world power which remained at war with the rest of the nations. Upon awakening, Aang had to learn to use the rest of the elements in a very short time before the Comet of Sozin returned, at which time the Fire Nation would completely eliminate its greatest adversary, the enormous Earth Kingdom. Prior to his confrontation with Ozai, he acquired the ability to bend energy with which he was able to eliminate his powers, repeating it once again years later with a powerful enemy who could do bloodbending during the day. After the war he was in charge of restoring the balance of the world together with the new Fire Lord Zuko and his friends. He actively participated in the creation of Republic City and died at the age of 66, although technically he was 166 years old. Avatar Korra, born in the year 153 AG in the Southern Water Tribe, at a very young age she could use three of the four elements being the airbending especially difficult for her due to her low spiritual connection and her very earthbender personality. Korra had the difficult task of facing quite powerful enemies, but even more difficult to be a participant in the new harmonic convergence, which had happened 10 mil years ago with Avatar 1, in which Fatu and Raba face off. In this fight, Raba was extracted, making the connection with their past lives to be cut, but being able to achieve a new cycle of 10,000 years where, at least spiritually, the light is the one who reigns over the chaos. 
In this same fight two very transcendental facts happened that would be the reopening of the spiritual portals, making the spirits and humans have to live together again, and thus ceasing to be the bridge between the spiritual world and the physical world. The second fact is that because of the new harmonic convergence the rebirth of the airbenders was provoked. And finally after his last fight with Kuvira, after an explosion caused by spiritual vines, a third spiritual portal was created in the middle of Republic City, something that would bring enormous consequences in the world of which we have not yet seen much. Next Avatar we still know absolutely nothing but a hint of what it will look like, although this is not confirmed. And nope, in case you still didn't know, Genji is not the next Avatar but one created by the fans, although it was super well accepted by the people. Let's hope that the creators tell us a good story in which the connection with past lives is recovered and the passage of time does not separate the fans anymore as it happened with Korra. People this was today's video I hope you liked it if so leave me your good like and let me know below which is your favorite avatar of the ones I mentioned. I'll be seeing you next week with more videos bye bye.